The Campbell Fighting Camels returned to the Big South Conference after a 17-year absence, and very quickly, the Camels proved to be a formidable foe. High Point native Tanisha Baker crossed over the 1,000-point barrier in her career and led Campbell in scoring with 14 points per game, while Caitlin Bass and Jasmine Cooper also were double-figure contributors for the Camels. Senior guard Kate Cloxton helped to anchor the backcourt, recording five assists per game, second best in the league. With six wins in their last seven games to finish the season, Campbell enters the tournament as the fourth seed in search of the first Big South championship for the school since 1989. The Charleston Southern Buccaneers knocked off the Clemson Tigers back in December with a high-octane scoring attack that led the league in offense. The Bucs shot a scorching 35% from long distance, led by redshirt junior Rachel Coward. The six-foot forward finished second in the league in scoring with 18 points per game, while Akitha Alston was fifth in the league, adding 16.5 points per contest. Both great shooters, Coward led the league in free throw percentage, while Alston was number two in field goal percentage. Erin Bratcher made 42% of her triple tries for the year, the most accurate long-distance specialist in the Big South in 2012. The Coastal Carolina Chanticleers went 12-3 inside Kimball Arena and earned the seventh seed for the conference tournament. Olivia Eyrick led the way with 11.3 points per game, nailing 41 three-pointers to move into eighth place in school history. The Chanticleers youth movement was led by Shatia Cole, the Big South rookie who won four Freshman of the Week awards, matching the most all-time for a Coastal Carolina player. Cole averaged nearly 10 points per game in conference play. Head coach Alan LaForce reached a new landmark with the 450th victory of his career back in early January. The Gardner-Webb running Bulldogs brought in eight newcomers to try and replace the cornerstones of last season's Big South champs. The Dogs were forced to replace their top five scorers from a year ago, having lost 84% of their total points from 2011. Sophomore Katrina Green posted 10 double-doubles and led the Bulldogs offensively in 16 different games, averaging 11.2 points per contest. After advancing to the conference title game for the previous three seasons, the running Bulldogs will be conference tournament spectators in 2012, opening the door for another school to experience the magic of March. The High Point Panthers won nine straight games to begin league play and then overcame a mid-season slide to win the final four contests and earn the second seed in the Big South Tournament. Shamia Brown shined as the Panthers' lone senior, pacing the squad with 16 points per game and becoming the school's all-time leading scorer and rebounder in the Division I era. Aaron Reynolds chipped in 15 points a night, while Cheyenne Parker averaged a double-double while leading the league in rebounding and rejections setting the conference record for most blocked shots in a season with 108. The Liberty Flames finished at the top of the Big South for the 13th time in the last 15 years. Senior Avery Worley broke the league's rebounding record and helped the Flames lead the nation on the glass. Worley averaged a double-double with nearly 13 points and 11 boards per game, while Devin Brown led Liberty in scoring, delivering 17 on a nightly basis. Reagan Miller, Tolu Omatola, and Donica Dale all averaged between 7 and 9 points for the Flames, who also surpassed the 20-win plateau for the 14th time in the last 16 years. The Presbyterian Blue Hose proved to be a worthy adversary in 2012, winning four straight games in February and closing their season with back-to-back -back wins. Still in the midst of their transition to Division I, Presbyterian gave opposing teams fits as the Blue Hose finished first in the conference in scoring defense. Mariah Petrowski led her team in scoring and rebounding, while Drea David topped the squad in assists and steals. Without a doubt, Presbyterian experienced its best season yet in the Big South. The Radford Highlanders started slowly before gaining steam and winning seven straight in late January into early February. The streak was the longest in-conference roll for Radford since 1993. The sneaky Highlanders led the league in steals per game with two of the top five basketball thieves in the conference. Ashley Buckhannon was second in the circuit, while Denera Irwin Spencer finished fourth in steals. Irwin Spencer also scored 17.4 points per game, the third best average on the season. Victoria Hamilton grabbed over seven boards per contest to finish fifth in the league in rebounding for Radford, who locked up the sixth seed in the conference tournament. 
The UNC Asheville Bulldogs relied on senior guard Lindsey Thompson and a host of promising freshmen who grew throughout the season. Thompson became the 15th Bulldog in school history to cross over the 1,000-point plateau and set the school record for career three-pointers. Freshman guard Shanice Jones earned three Freshman of the Week awards and one Player of the Week honor, becoming the first rookie to lead UNC Asheville in scoring in nine years. Jones finished with an average of 15.4 points per game as one of just eight players in the league to average 15 or more for the season. The Winthrop Eagles enjoyed a record-setting 2012, becoming one of the top three-point shooting teams in America. Three Eagles combined to score over 50 points per game, led by last season's Freshman of the Year, Dequisha McClanahan, who became just the second Big South player ever to lead the conference in scoring and assists. Diana Chovakova led the league with 119 three-point field goals, and Samaya Wright proved to be one of the top freshman scorers in the circuit, averaging 13.4 points per game for the Eagles. Earning the number three seed in the conference tournament, Winthrop was the only team in the league to knock off first place Liberty in regulation during the regular season.